Welcome to F. Ed's Keto Way. This is a journal of F. Ed Knudsen's weight loss using nutritional ketogenesis. Let's see what Ed has for us today. Good morning, Ed, with the Keto Way, Ed's Keto Way, that is my journey on a Keto Way. I've got Tuesday's picture behind me here. Let's see, where, where's my thumb going to be? All right there. All right there's Tuesday dog. All right, she's down here. She, you, know, you might hear her. This mic might pick up her licking. She's, if you have a, a pit bull or many other kind of dogs, they, uh, they love to lick their little paws or their big paws or whatever. And, you know, dogs uh, should be in radio because remember there's that phrase, we pause for a station break. <laughs> okay, enough of stupid humor this morning. I'm using my MXL 990. I'll show you that. Here it is, MXL 990. And also my focus right. I'm not going to show you a picture of that. You don't need to see that. And I'm recording in my office. I think it's got a little, uh, or actually quite a bit better quality sound than the mic that was built into the camera. So I just want to let you know about the keto way for today is Friday. I begun, I begun, I began it, I began, I began this journey Sunday, with my first full day, so this is day six, and uh, let's see, what else, uh, you let, yesterday, okay, I I got up and went until, uh, without eating, until noon, and I did well, it was a little tougher, first day was tough, second, third day were pretty easy, and then yesterday was kind of tough, not real bad, but I did think about food in between, I mean, like eating, and then uh, after I ate, I I went till about 3.30, so noon, and then 3.30, and then had a couple of bites, um, and then didn't finish my last little meal until about 5.30, I had a couple of chicken wings that had breading on them, so that was my carb for the day. And in between, I had, let's see, what for, for the 3.30, what did I have? I think I just had the beef again, beef and butter, a little, little beef stock. And uh, uh, then I, I think I had ribs for breakfast, ribs. And I think I mentioned that I had uh, was ready to eat some ribs. <laughs> uh, what was that, Wednesday night? And uh, a hamburger patty. And then I used my Edwill, not my my willpower but my, my ed willpower or will ed power that's it i gotta remember my own sayings anyway that's what i did and so yesterday i had, had at noon to break my fast okay some pork ribs and a, a chicken pat a ch what do you call no dead cow it's called beef beef patty so i okay then my computer blings and lets you lets me know stuff's happening and uh, also once I got past that, uh, it was 3.30 before uh, I was able to eat again because I got a little busy here at work doing things. I uh, picked up the, uh, uh, let's see, what did I have? Oh, some roast beef. Sliced off a couple of slices. Put some bone broth in there and a little uh, fat I had saved from when I cooked a bunch of meat last week. And so that made it savory. <laughs> yes, a little sea salt. Yes, I've got my Redmond's pink sea salt. I put that on there and uh, the butter, but a, a, a slab of butter. And it made it oh, such a wonderful broth. Lightly salted, beefy. You know what I mean? You see the eyebrows? Uh, and <clears throat> so I ate that for, for my 3 o'clock, 3.30 lunch. And then for my supper, I had, uh, let's see, four or five little chicken wings. And they had some breading on them. So I might have, maybe with that breading, maybe gone a little over 20, 30 um, carbs. Um, I don't know how much. It's hard to measure uh, the carbs on uh, the breading of, of, of a chicken wing. I did well. slept real well last night. And I mentioned my, my bone, sw bone swelling. My bone swelling's down. It's not really the bones. It's the water in the joints, I guess, or whatever is down. And I feel great. Walk Tuesday this morning. Walk, and I've, as a matter of fact, I've got to go for another walk right after I get through with talking to you. And then we're going to go for a walk. And I don't have that dread of the achy joints because I, I, I was starting to get to that point in life. So that's gone away. And I'm just happy that uh, uh, 
If I come up with any more clever ideas, I'm going to try to post those online. Uh, I haven't got into recipes. Someone on my page had asked me about recipes. <sighs> right now, I'm not at that point. But as I develop recipes, I mean, I cut some roast beef and put them in a, a ceramic dish or whatever they're called uh, and uh, cooked them with some fat and salt and butter. I, I just heated them back up and ate them, you know. Come on now, that's just simple. Uh, but I haven't got to where I'm blending stuff, and I probably could if I got some spinach and chopped up some beef and mixed it with it with an egg and made some kind of cool dish. And yeah, I'll get to that. Okay, but let me just get used to the diet first. Okay, and it's uh, diet. When we think of going on a diet, many of us in America think of I'm going to do this for a period of time and lose weight. And then I can get off of that diet. Well, diet, have you ever remembered Have you ever remembered something in your life or do you forget everything you learn? Well, remember this. Remember when they talked about the diet of the elephant consists mostly of, it doesn't mean he's just on a diet for a while. And, the, and then he goes back to hamburgers. You know, they don't do that, folks. The diet of the crocodile uh, often includes anything from old shoes that have leather in them to human beings. And then they go back to snails and tadpoles. No, no. A diet is just what you eat. Okay? So that's why I call my little... Um, let me scratch my nose here. Uh, my lip. I call it the keto way. Okay? I don't want it to be a diet. I don't want it to be Ed's keto diet. So if you notice, I, I knew that right away. Keto I took karate many years ago. I know it's hard to tell because uh, I'm kind of stealthy on that. I... Remember the word karate do, and do is way karate do. Uh, you heard of uh, Jeet Kune Do or this, uh, um, you know, other martial arts, and then they put do. And what it means is it's the way. <clears throat> and uh, in Christianity, when it first came about, it was it was not called cr Christian. You followed the way, and it was the way of Christ. So it was Christian Christ dough, and I, actually that's pretty cool, Christ dough. Uh, but, or I should say, however, I don't like using the word but. You know, some people eh, he said but uh, it means it, it's a negative connotation, con connotation. So, however, as of making it a way of life, keto way. So it's going to be my new way of eating. And as I develop this into the rest of my life, I'm I'm talking with my hands and you guys can't see it. I think that's so cool because I know I am <laughs> talking. I'm talking with my hand. Where are you here? I'm talking with my hands and you guys can't see it. Oh, yes, I can. You got your hands up now. Oh, anyway. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, it's keto way and it's going to be my way. And as I progress into uh, getting to the point of where the food, 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 food. There I go. I'm thinking about food again. When I get to the girth, <laughs> the measurement around my waist that I want, um, that's more important, the doctor says, than, than your weight. So don't watch your weight. We don't want to be weight watchers. We want to be girth watchers. And I got my girth out where I can watch it, and it's too much. I don't like watching that much, so I don't want to keep an eye on too much girth. So I'm going to get my girth down to where, uh, I like that word, girth, yes, girth, yes, no, no, my name's Garth, no, Garth's a singer, go back to work. So girth, girth, okay, I'm getting my girth, so the keto way, once I get my girth down to where I want it, and uh, develop muscles, because um, I love to work out, I love um working out so uh, the weight will not necessarily be important is what I'm trying to say but when I get that down there I can play adding a little bit of carbs back into my diet if I should if I should want to you know if I decide that uh, I get to a point where well I can have a, a sandwich using bread okay I never like white bread I haven't liked white bread in years I use sprouted grain bread okay what it is is <clears throat> they take the <clears throat> several types of grain and then they let it sprout. And then right after it sprouts, they go, you're done. And then they grind it up into a pulverized powder 
and it become they let it dry and it becomes a flower so that's sprouted grain and the poor little grain it, it thinks it's got this whole new life above the earth just after it sprouts it goes and it crumbles it up and dries it out and then makes bread but it's very nutritious because when grain sprouts that is the, the point of time where it's the very most nutritious nutritious and think of uh, <clears throat> when an egg Okay, an egg is its is or the, the chicken is at its most nutritious point when it is an egg, and you break that egg open. <laughs> I like eggs, and I know how to use them. I like eggs, and I know how to fry them. Anyway, I'm going to end it right here because uh, I'm just having too much fun. It's Friday. Hey, that rhymes with fried egg. It's fried egg Friday, so fry your eggs and some heavy bacon grease and. I love it. Okay, you guys have a good weekend. This is the first weekend in November. Today is the, I've still got my uh, calendar on, October. It's 11-2. Now, next Saturday is the next holiday. Okay, I know you go, that's not Veterans Day. Of course it's not. It's a Marine Corps birthday. Okay, I'm a Marine. Okay, one of these days I'll show you that picture up there, the one that you can't see because the camera's pointing the wrong direction. Yes, I, I have my picture as a Marine. I did four years, and we're not going to go into that blathering. I'm, I've had it. 11 minutes is too long for a Friday. Thanks for joining me on Ed's Keto Way Journey. You can contact me by leaving a message right here on Facebook because, well, I may miss if you leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment anyway, as I do try to read all of them. Most of these videos are also on YouTube at EdFilm711. That's one word, EdFilm711. Join me next time for another Ed's Keto Way Journey.